Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I'm here to do a money reading for the month of July for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign of Capricorn. Now, these are general readings. They won't resonate with everybody, but please do feel free to pick up anything that does and leave the rest behind. Now, if you know your moon, your rising or your Venus, you can always check those out. They'll be linked in the description box below, as well the ways that you can contact me um, for a private reading. The best way to do so is via my website. Um, but while we are just doing the bit of housekeeping, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that has liked, shared and subscribed to my channel. You've really helped me to grow. Um, I'm still still struggling to get my numbers up. So if you would, if you haven't already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you did. And any of your comments, I always try to answer them in the comment box below. And all of your likes are truly appreciated as well. So thank you for your support so far and for your continuing support. It is really appreciated. So let's have a look at Capricorn Money, July 2021. What do they need to know? Capricorn. We have the Seven of Cups. It's like you're facing a choice, Capricorn. And the Five of Cups. And the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Let's have a look. Capricorn Money. The Two of Pentacles. And you have the world in the center of the reading. Beautiful. Ooh, I'm dropping the cards. The page of swords and the page of cups. And the knight of swords. Two pages. And the page leading into, leading into the knight. Hmm. you have the five of swords okay Capricorn looks like you might be dealing with some stuff this month what your overall energy is And your overall energy is the page of us, the knight, sorry, of pentacles. This is a lovely energy to have overriding the month. It is the energy of keep on keeping on. Okay, knights are all about movement. The knight of pentacles is the slow and spe steady movement. He has planted his seeds, he has worked on his skills, he is working towards something, but he's taking it at a slow and steady pace. He is Mr. Dependable. So this, you know, um, pentacles are earth energy representing growth, uh, development, planting the seeds for your future and money, of course. And the Knight of Pentacles is here to say, yes, you are going to get your money coming in. It is going to be a slow and steady progress that you are going to make during the month of July. So don't expect miracles. Don't expect to suddenly get a windfall coming in or, um, you know, suddenly to, to get something um, big paying out. This is about your steady progress, okay? So the month of July has that overarching energy of keep on keeping on. And it's echoed even further with another one of the cards we have here, which is the Eight of Pentacles. So I will get to that in a moment. Now, 
we start off the reading with the it's a very very mixed bag going on here for you my lovely Sagittarius and this is where your tenacity is going to come in this is where that um, keep on keeping on is going to come in so just bear with me on this there are positives to it and there are cautions to it as well but the but just remember you are going to be making that money at a steady pace if you can get through um, any issues that you may have along the way now we start off with the seven of cups and the seven of cups this is the card of um, making choices making difficult choices not knowing what to choose um, not knowing um, the difference sometimes between fantasy and reality and really you're being called this month to look at the reality of situations to not be too much up in the clouds to not be too much of a dreamer to not be thinking too much about um, the wishful thinking side of things. This is more about you finding the practical solutions to any situations that you are going through. Um, it's not saying squash your dreams because we do have the page of cups here. This, But this is about you, you approaching your dreams with a practical head, okay? So dream big by all means. I'm not saying don't dream big. In fact, I'm saying the opposite here. Dream, dream as big as you like, but make sure that you are taking those practical steps towards achieving those goals, achieving those dreams and achieving your ambitions. We have next to that seven of cups, we have the five of cups and the five of cups is the card of loss, the card of spilt regret, something that you are um, you are possibly going to be feeling the lack of, okay? And we don't want you feeling that lack if we can avoid it. We'd really like you to not be feeling that. So this is a good sort of warning here. But you might feel a sense of um, bitterness towards something, a sense of disappointment, like you've been betrayed by somebody or... You might be wallowing a little bit in self-pity. So if that's the case, then please do try to look at things from a different perspective and see if you can cannot wallow, okay? You may have suffered disappointments, but there's always lessons to be learned. There's always something positive to pull out of any situation. So can you find that positive in this situation without um, <clears throat> without letting it drag you down? You know, you might feel a little bit raw, you might feel a little bit emotional, a little bit tender, but know that that, um, that you can navigate your way towards a brighter future here. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is that working on your business, working on your skills, working on your knowledge, um, you know, in the traditional right away, he's knocking out the pentacles. Quite literally, he has the pentacles on the table in front of him and the hammer and chisel and he's knocking them out. He's working hard. He's working to improve his situation. And this is what is being called for here. Remember I said the knight of pentacles is that slow and steady pace. This is the one that is echoing that here. It's about you really honing your skills here, um, my lovely Capricorns, and really working towards being the expert in your field okay that's what you that's what's required of you so try not to wallow too much if something goes wrong try to pick yourself up dust yourself off learn the lessons and work on yourself work on your skills and work on your business if you run a business because that's how you're going to make your money okay so this is about you you becoming that expert you becoming that go-to person and so you really need to be working on your skills and honing your craft, making sure that you are the best that you can be. Now, underneath that seven of cups, that, you know, that um, difficulty in making a choice is the two of pentacles. So the reason you may be feeling that um, that difficulty there is because there is an imbalance in your life. You may be feeling a bit out of whack with something. If you're not aligned with what it is you are doing to earn your money, then it may feel like um, 
feel even more difficult to move forwards because you're not enjoying it. You're not doing what you love. You're not doing what you're passionate about. But something is making you feel out of balance. Now, the good thing when the Two of Pentacles shows up is it shows that you can you can readdress that balance. You're aware of it. You know it's there. You need to readdress it. You need to look at that imbalance. Where is it taking place? Is it in your business? Is it in your home life? Is it the balance between? It's funny because we've just um, moved through the full moon in Capricorn. And the full moon in Capricorn is all about you regaining that balance and um you know and feel and we've had a lot going on with the planets with the moons we've had eclipses we've had mercury retrograde we've had planets colliding we've had an awful lot going on and it has knocked a lot of people off balance if you're sensitive to the moon cycles if you're sensitive to the planetary alignments you will have been feeling that so don't be disheartened my lovely capricorns everyone somewhere is feeling an imbalance and this is just a, a note to to self to say time to readdress that balance time to get things back on an even keel and we do have that next to the world the world is the last in the major arcana It's the only major arcana you have here and it's the final one and the world shows the completion of something so whatever this is that's going on there is a completion to it there is an ending to it but the the world keeps on turning so it is cyclical you know you've got ouroboros the snake that eats itself around the edge of her here and um and so if something is coming to an end, something new is beginning. The world keeps on turning. These are This is a great omen to have right in the center of your reading here. My center card is always the card that affects all the other cards around it. It is the one that has its fingers in all the pies, if you like. And to have the world in there is, is beautiful because it is that completion. It is that joy. It is that um, sense of achievement. It is happy endings. You know, this is a beautiful omen to have right in the middle there. Expect success. Okay. Expect success to come your way. And um, be, be aware of what's going on around you, but don't wallow in it. And also, you know, um, there is a sense of wholeness, a sense of completion when you have the world there. And that wholeness is you, that whole, you know, feeling as a complete person. It can also represent travel as well. So some of you may be looking at traveling in the next um, few weeks, months, whatever. July might be a good time for you to start planning that or maybe you are actually planning on traveling somewhere in July if you are then you know this is this is great it's going to just enhance that joy it's going to enhance the way you're feeling and basically you've got joy in the center of your reading that's, that's just beautiful so then next to that world card, we have the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords, pages are the messengers. And this is the messenger saying, OK, what skills are you working on? Do you have some knowledge that you need to gain? Do you want to take a, a new course in something? Do you want to read a book about something, to learn about something? Now is a good time to do that. Because the Page of Swords is here to bring you those new ideas, that new inspiration, but also that new knowledge. It's a good time to have that thirst for knowledge and let that drive you forwards in your business, in your endeavours to earn money. Let that drive you forwards and create a sense of, of um an inquiring mind. An inquiring mind is an open mind and an open mind means that you are open to receiving. You're open to growing and you're open to getting more money coming in. Okay. And then we have the page of cups here underneath that two of pentacles and the seven of cups. So the page of cups reminds you to be that dreamer, to be to be happy in, um, in yourself, to love yourself, but also to to recognize 
the difference between dream and fantasy, which is that seven of cups, you know, it, it's like dream big. Don't be afraid to dream big. Don't be afraid to follow your dreams. Don't be afraid to follow your heart's desire, but just do it in a practical way, in a, a very methodical way and make sure you're well informed, especially as next to that, we also have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, you know, he's that knight in shining armor. He comes charging in at 90 miles an hour to save the day. And he's here to say to you, okay, well, um, you know, we're, we're going to make some decisions here. We're going to streamline our process. We're going to use our intelligence. We're going to move forwards at a fast pace. We're going to make those, those decisions that need to be made. And we are going to follow our dreams in a practical and intelligent way. And it is the pursuit of excellence. And I want you to hear that again. You are in the pursuit of excellence here. OK, let your ambition drive you. Go towards that success. You've got success there in the world right above that that knight of swords so don't wallow in this self-pity from the five of cups here because the knight of swords is here to say no you can charge towards that success full speed ahead and you will get it you will manage to do it but we do have the five of swords next to him as well and this is again this is about you feeling that sense of loss, that sense of um, your confidence has been knocked. You may feel like you've had some hollow victories. Um, you know, that others have an unfair advantage over you. But remember, this is here to tell you there were lessons that you needed to learn. There was something that you can take, something that you can garner from all that has happened and it will help to move you ahead. And that's the important message of both of these fives. You know, fives are not pleasant cards to have. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. They are cards of loss. They are cards of regret. They are cards of pain. But they are cards of lessons that can inform you and move you forwards. So use those lessons, use that information you have gained and use it to push you forwards and make your money because you've got it here. It's coming, it's, it's coming in steady. It's a steady flow. It's a steady progress. But there are things that you need to be working on. But if you are always working from a place of love and a place of of acceptance and a place of positivity then you are working towards the the better goal the better life that you are desiring and it's here right in the center of your reading you have the world at your feet here my lovely Capricorns the world is opening up to you so be open to accepting it okay make that progress towards your goals dream big dream your dreams but do follow the the practical and the the knowledgeable way of getting them okay so it's no good just wishing on a star and hoping and praying that something will come true you have to take those steps that is the big message for july here Take those steps towards earning your money and you will earn it. Oof, okay. Let's take a look at Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. It's, I'm very excited for you, actually, Capricorn. This is lovely because, you know, having the world in the centre of the reading there, you could not have a better card just right in the middle there saying, yep, yeah, you have the world at your feet. You are in the process of completing that cycle and getting rid of this, this meh that's going on in the background and really moving forwards and moving forwards at such a pace and to make really good money. I love that. 
Okay, so we have the web weaver, synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. Exactly that, cause and effect. Look for the synchronicities, look for the signs. They will be there, they will be showing up. And if you're missing them with that five of cups there, if you're not noticing them and you're missing those signs and you're just focusing on the lack, then that's what you're going to get more of. Cause and effect. The more positive you're, you put out, the more you expect good things to happen, the more good things will happen. The more you expect the money to come in, guess what? The more the money's going to come in. That's the law of attraction. That is the cause and effect which is what the law of attraction is. Law of attraction is just cause and effect. It's just a fancy term for it. Okay. <clears throat> Take a wisdom of the oracle. And as do my lovely Capricorns need to know, please. Okay, expect to get a leg up this month. Nice. So if you're looking for a promotion, you know, yeah, go for it. Expect to get that leg up. If you need some help, ask for it and expect to receive it. You will get that help. You will get that leg up. But do things by the book. OK, don't go off track. Don't don't try to um, cut corners. That's the thing with this month. You know, you've got that Eight of Pentacles there. You've got the Knight of Pentacles there. It, it's about not cutting corners. You've got the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. It's about having that honesty and integrity and that knowledge and that wisdom. And it's about taking things step by step and not missing any steps. So do things by the book and things will work out for you. Okay, let's take that. Actually, I'm going to take an enchanted map. Now, I will have to read from the book for this, probably. Um, well, I will anyway, because there's there's a deeper meaning to each card than just what's written on them. And it's nice to hear that deeper meaning. But these are new cards to me, so I haven't memorised all the meanings completely. I don't know if I ever will, to be honest. I've got so many cards now, I can't possibly rem remember them all. Okay, so Capricorn, Capricorn... Oh. Actually, no, I will take them. I had two there and I was going to put them back, but I'm, oh, I'm dropping them. Okay, so we have Spirit of Place and Into the Unknown. So let's look at Spirit of Place first. I actually do know what this one means, but I'm going to read it to you anyway. I like this one. <laughs> so spirit of place. Authenticity is the essence of power. This is what I'm saying, okay? You need to be your authentic self. Be true to you. So our ancient ancestors believed that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it, just as we have a soul. The plants, trees, birds, mountains and rivers have their own essences. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your query is in the overreaching theme of your circumstances. So the overreaching theme of your circumstances, that is where you'll find your answer. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than long for it. So in this instance, if you're looking for money, embody the idea that you have money rather than longing for it or looking at the lack of it. OK, um, once you find the essential truth that underlies your question, and then name it, you'll discover the answer you've been seeking. Your greatest power is your authenticity. I love that. And then we have Into the Unknown. I like this one as well. I love the... Uh, I love the... the 
actual lady on this. She reminds me of, I just saw a program called, I think it's called The Nevers. And they're all in Victorian dress and what have you. And this reminds me very much of that. Love it. Okay, so we have Into the Unknown. Trust and all will be revealed. So life is an adventure and often new opportunities will arise that you don't even know how to deal with or you won't even know how to deal with. There is This is one of those times. You're required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territory. This is that world card in the, in the middle there. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a path maker. Whatever your inquiry, trust that you'll be safe. Stay aware as you discover new marvellous territories and valuable treasures. I love that. Love that. Okay, so yes, you are... You are heading into a very exciting time, my beautiful Capricorns. New adventures, new opportunities. You just need to be aware and be aware of where your focus is as well. Ooh. And we have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? So are people draining your energy? Are you um, are you doing things that you don't want to be doing, and that's that's splitting your focus? That's making you feel that lack, that that sense of loss, that sense of um, you know of things not feeling right. This is that five of swords and that five of cups energy, and the seven of cups energy as well. You need to set those boundaries. Make sure you're doing what what you want to be doing and what lights you up. Okay, let's take a let's take a magical mermaids and dolphins. I'm loving this reading. It's uh they've all been a bit mixed. I will say that. Okay, so you have music for manifesting to manifest rapidly. Think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing or play music. OK, so if you know what you want and you want to bring it into your life, music is the key. Love that. OK, let's take a life changes one and then I'll close the reading. <laughs> and we have seeking and finding. Whatever you are seeking, you will find it. So make sure you're seeking what you want and not what you don't want. And on that note, I'm going to close the reading. So my beautiful Capricorns, I hope this helped. I hope this resonated with you. Do drop me a comment in the comment box below. Please do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Your support is truly, truly appreciated. But until next time, namaste.